This week we hang ten at the Surf Expo. And then we party down at the new Mango's Tropical Cafe. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. Brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park, offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee. Both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello, welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Banks. So as you guys know, we're always trying to find ways to improve upon our show. So because of that, we created a survey. Yes, yes. If you head over, if you're not watching this on YouTube, you can head to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash attractions magazine. Find this episode and in the description there's a link to the survey about the show. Just give a feedback about you know what you want to see in the future of the show, the things you like or don't like about the show currently. Just let us know. We always love you know, hearing feedback from, from our viewers and like Lisa said, improve upon the show. Definitely. So, you know, going off of Away from the survey, I have yes. to say, now my new favorite thing at Epcot every time I go, because I've been like three times this week, just <laughs> happened to be mochi ice cream. Mochi? They, yes, in Mo Japan. Okay. It is so, 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 so good. One of the carts they have outside of the store, mm -hmm. they have it in there and um, it's frozen. So what would mm. you say, what's the, what is the flavor of this mochi ice cream? They have cream? different flavors. Oh, okay, okay. I personally like the strawberry, but they have chocolate, mango, mm. vanilla. They have like four or five different flavors. I'm going to have to try some of the chocolate one next time on Epcot. you got to try it. It's yeah. good. Speaking of ice cream, my coming from Texas, I we Blue Bell ice cream was my favorite growing up. I love, love, love me some Blue Bell ice cream. And finally, you know, there was a thing that happened about a year ago, and they had to shut down the plants. But now it's back open. They've been distributing them out. And finally, it is back in Florida as of this week. And Hallelujah. I was at the store and I was like, <laughs> like a light shone from the freezer <laughs> section and choir of Aww. angels sang as, as uh, my precious bluebell is back. So I got some of that. And yeah, I, I, what you flavor realize, did you get? Uh, Dutch chocolate is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love Dutch chocolate. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's limited flavors. Right now, I'm sure more will roll out in the future. But just to have it back, I'm so, I'm so happy. I have to get some. You have to? Mm. Have you never had bluebell? I have, just. Not in a while, obviously. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. You don't realize how much you miss a taste. I miss a taste that? when you don't have it for 10 months. So, <laughs> yes, I was counting. <laughs> All right, let's get to some news in the queue, shall we? First up this week, Disney's new animated film Zootopia doesn't hit theaters until March 4th, but guests at Disney World can get a preview of different elements of the film. At Hollywood Studios, a sneak preview of Zootopia is being shown in the Walt Disney Theater inside One Man's Dream. When you visit, you can pick up one of two Zootopia themed paper hats. And starting tomorrow at Disney's Animal Kingdom, guests visiting Rafiki's Planet Watch will be able to learn about the research that went into the production of the movie. The filmmaker's very first stop was Disney's Animal Kingdom in March 2014, where they worked with the park's animal care professionals. This special exhibit will be in place at least through Earth Day, April 22nd. Zootopia opens in theaters, as I said earlier, on March 4th. Uh, have you seen this preview yet? yet? I haven't either. I, I was uh, over at studios the other day. I didn't have a chance to go in and see it. But from the trailers I've seen, it seems like a cute movie. It's kind of cool to see Disney going back to the, uh, you know, talking animals kind of mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, I will say, I think there was like original trailer that didn't really show anything. And I was like, oh, I'm not really interested in this movie. And then I saw the trailer with the sloth scene. And mm -hmm. I was like, all right. I'm back in it. I'm so excited for this movie. I saw the good dinosaur preview in the Walt Disney Theater, so I have to go see this. It, it, I'm sure it's going to be so adorable. And I love that the the exhibit that they're putting out there at Rafiki's Planet Watch because it gets people to actually go out there because mm -hmm. it's really you know so far out there. You have to take a train to get there. Animal Kingdom, so not a lot of people do go out there. But mm -hmm. any chance to get uh, get some people out there with a the petting zoo? I love that place. Mm -hmm. So definitely go for sure. 
Get ready to walk with the dinosaurs at Tampa's Museum of Science and Industry as Dinosaurs in Motion begins a limited engagement. Everybody walk with the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> using gears and levers, visitors will be able to take control of life-size massive metal skeletons, including a 44-foot-long T-Rex. Inside each steel sculpture, guests will watch the mechanical parts at work as the dinosaurs move. Mm. Admission to Dinosaurs in Motion is included with a ticket to the museum. The exhibit will be open from January 30th through May 8th. Tickets and more information are available at MOSI, M -O -S -I .org. Have you ever been to this museum? No, I pass it either. every time I go to Bush Gardens. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've never been there either, and I've always wanted to, so maybe this will be the, the, the thing that will get me there and take Spencer. This exhibit sounds terrifying. Really? To, to me. Why? How I don't know. Terrifying it's, to you? It's, it's a it's life dinosaurs. size, and they're moving. And I, I know guess because it's, it's metal, and maybe. It just sounds. Weird. I mean, if you like dinosaurs, <laughs> I, that's awesome. But to me, I don't know if I would like it. Well, we know who our reporter is going to be <laughs> when we go and cover this later, I'm sure. <laughs> I bite my tongue once again. <laughs> our weekly vlog show, Florida E-Ticket, has started a new monthly segment called Unlock the Magic. Starting with Adventureland at Magic Kingdom this month, the new segment will showcase the different lands within Disney parks. So make sure you check out this week's Florida E-Ticket on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash attractions magazine or on our website or in our app. Have you watched the episode yet? I haven't gotten to see it yet. I, I watched it and I, I love the way they've done this because it's very reminiscent of the old Disneyland TV show that Walt used to host uh, back in the 50s and 60s. Like their intros in black and white, they're in suits. It's, it's so cool. I, I can't it. wait to see it. Love Gavin and Patrick. They're very talented and I know this is gonna be a great segment for us. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, welcome to Hidden Mickey of the Week. Let's go to Disney's Animal Kingdom to Conservation Station. Now this area is a treasure trove for hidden Mickeys. You could spend hours in there looking for the great hidden Mickeys. So here's a good one. A classic Mickey on a micro tighter plate is usually in the first display room to the right in the rear of the lobby. Look into the second window of the Wildlife Tracking Center. This plate changes color from time to time, so the cast members have fun with it. It's a great hidden Mickey. Ever at Fun Spot America. With this weather, I know what you're all thinking. It's the perfect time to go surfing. Wait, is this right? I think I have the wrong script. No, you, you have it right. The Surf Expo was in town recently, and I was there to see what it was all about. I guess even with this weather, you always got to be prepared to catch the gnarly waves, dude. Please never talk like that again. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Dude. <laughs> We're here at the Orange County Convention Center for the annual Surf Expo. Now, I've personally never been here, but I hear there's more to it than just surfing. So let's go inside and see what it's all about. Here in Orlando, mermaids become pretty popular from, from like Little Mermaid to the Wiki Watchy Mermaids. Oh, yeah. What services do you provide for people? Um, well, we sell worldwide on our okay. website, finfun.com, and we sell mermaid tails that are real swimmable tails. So we have a huge number of customers that we've sold to in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have some retail locations that we have been working with, some shops that are um, starting to sell our, our mermaid tails, but we have a devoted group of fans basically all over the place on our YouTube and on social media 
that just love mermaid tails, love mermaids in general. And, and um, so we've been kind of stoking that fire and, and uh, really helping girls live the dream. Now, is it available for, for both kids and adults too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have um, toddler sizes mm -hmm. for little teeny girls for dress up, um, keep their feet free. But then we have six, eight, ten, and then twelve adults, extra small, small, and medium. So we go clear up to a, an adult medium would fit like a size sixteen woman. So here inside the Surf Expo, I mean, this place is huge. They got a lot of stuff like like shirts and shoes and beachwear and jewelry, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, things that have to do with the beach and surfing. I mean, this feels like the IAPA of beach and surf, and I'm overwhelmed by it all. Now, um, looking around here, I see, Zach, you got socks for your feet, but also socks for bottles and stuff. Why would you want a sock for a bottle? Um, well, uh, we're wi wildly funny and cool. Uh, socks for your bottles. Um, it's a very good question. I don't know. I don't know why. We're just tricking people into putting uh, <laughs> socks on their bottles here at Freaker cool. USA. It looks yeah, really cool. yeah. We make a lot of fun jokes, and uh, what it does is it it stretches to fit everything. So you can put it on a water bottle, wine bottle, beer, um, and what it does it stops it from sweating, keeps it cold, and. Our jokes are fun and silly, and it kind of matches up with us, and it's fun to fun to use. I see lots and lots of different designs. Could people maybe contact you and say, "I've got a design I really want made in one of these"? Um, yes, they could. Okay. Yeah, we would definitely do designs for people. Although ours are wildly cute and funny. Right. From uh, Alpha Kale, we got one called Lance Tiny Armstrong, which is a T-Rex riding a bicycle. Yeah. Um, I saw um, unicorn on a cob. Yeah, unicorn on the cob is a great seller. Uh, <laughs> what would you say your most popular design is? Oh, our most popular, um, um, Lance Tiny Armstrong was was the most popular last year, but we just came out with a really great new funny line uh, where we started doing it different, where uh, Lauren, which is the girl that names all of our uh, freakers, she named them and then we designed them after she came up with funny names. So okay. all of them match up really well and they just, um, um, Alpha Kale, I'll say Alpha Kale is going to be our one of our top sellers. Okay, so Steve, we're walking around and we saw these. I just had to stop and ask about this. It's a, a bike, a, a treadmill, all in one. How would you describe this? That's exactly right. It's a bike and a treadmill, and it's the best of all those worlds where you get a viable, reliable mode of transportation, but also low impact exercise with very little stress or impact on the body. Okay, so anyone can do this, right? Just uh, good balance, right? basically? Absolutely. We've had here at the show alone, we've had anybody from six years old to 80 years old riding it. Um, we like to keep it up about 10 or 12 years old, but um, yes, and the, you know, the basic premise is you're walking basically at a regular pace. But because of the technology, you're moving at a much faster rate. And I can show you that here in a couple minutes. But I, I would love to, I'd love to try this out myself. I'm able to. Absolutely. This is the fastest pace that you would walk at. But at this pace, on the ground, you're moving at 15 to 17 miles an hour. Yeah. It's got a Samsung battery. Takes you 60 miles on a charge. So that's where the viability of the transportation comes from. 60 miles, 15 miles an hour. This also provides low impact exercise, high calorie burn, uh, high cardio, but no stress on your knees or your lower back and you don't have the pain in the butt as it were from a bicycle seat. Right. So again, the best of all those worlds. Um, and before, before I get on and try this, I just wanted to ask, is this available for the public yet or is it still a prototype? No, absolutely. We are doing a soft rollout here to, to make everybody aware of Lopi Fit and it is available at uh, lopifitus.com. Cool. All right, let's, let's give this a shot. That's it for the Surf Expo here at the Orange County Convention Center. Lots of stuff to see and do. Now, I've never been really a, a surf or beach kind of guy, but if there's more of this there at the beach, I could get used to it.
The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Do you ever wish you could get the vibe of South Beach right here in Orlando? Of course I have. Who hasn't? This is sounding like an infomercial now. But just, just roll with it. Well, in that case, have I got the place for you, and they have food, drinks, dancers, and fun. Gee, where's that? At the brand new Mango's Tropical Cafe. Oh, boy. But wait, there's more. They also have a DJ, a Michael Jackson impersonator, showgirls, and more. Sounds like a blast. How can I check it out? Well, we sent Alyssa there to bring you this special report for the low, low price of free. <laughs> the grand opening of Mango's Tropical Cafe. It's on International Drive and we're really excited to see it. Let's go inside. Vamanos. What can guests expect from this experience? Mangoes is a giant 55,000 square foot family friendly restaurant and nightlife destination here on International Drive. It's something that nobody's ever seen before here in this region. Uh, uh, wonderful food, amazing shows, an incredible facility, art in every detail, and really with a Latin flair. That's great, and you started in Miami. What brought you to Orlando? Well. I, uh, my father and I used to bring me here when I was a little boy, you know, growing up in Miami Beach uh, it, during the 70s and 80s. We came to uh, the Magic Kingdom and used to stay in a little Hojo's down in 192. And this was always my happy place. And, uh, you know, I, we, we thought of other places we could do another Mangoes. And we, we thought about Las Vegas and we thought about New York City and we thought about Orlando. And when we found this building, the old Friday's front row, and we were able to, to buy it outright here on International Drive. It was a no-brainer. Now, I'm sure you can see this place is crazy. Uh, the lights are cool. There are dancers. There's a bar over here. There's a bar over there. There's a bar behind you and upstairs. This place is hopping. We're already having a great time. Here's 
here's a tip that's not for the faint of heart. This time of year, it can get very cold here in Orlando. But if the cold never bothered you anyway, it's the perfect time for a few water rides. Because of the weather, the majority of guests never even think about riding anything having to do with water, leaving the lines basically empty. All you have to do is pack a poncho or raincoat, maybe a change of clothes, and you're set for some cold, wet water ride fun. Some rides like Splash Mountain even seem to turn down the intensity of their splash factor, making it so you only get a few drops on you anyways. Happy sailing! Attractions Magazine is your guide to the world's greatest theme parks and attractions. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, rumors, interviews, and reviews from Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to your doorstep. Subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com. And now for this week's calendar. Wild Days at SeaWorld Orlando continues with Sea Rescue Weekends. The Real Music Series at Busch Gardens continues this week with The Drifters tonight through the 30th and The Rascals the 1st through the 6th of February. The annual celebration of Harry Potter at Universal Orlando begins tomorrow and lasts through Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. This week's shout out goes to Daniel, Mike, and Linda. We hope to see you three in Orlando soon. Mm -hmm. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, Bright House Cable TV Channel 999, iTunes, and through the O-Town app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. You can also visit attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week and find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. We also want to tell you about a deal we have with Theme Park Connection. If you spend $100 with them, you'll get a free copy of the magazine. And if you spend $250, you'll get a free one-year subscription to our magazine. So just to reiterate what we talked about at the uh, beginning of the show, our show survey, head to youtube.com slash attractions magazine, find this episode. Link is in the description to fill out to, to let us know what you think of the show and what you're what we'd like to see in the future. Yes, and this weekend we'll be at our Harry Potter celebration at Universal mm -hmm. Orlando. If you see us there, say hello. Please do, please do. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Mm -hmm. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. drinks, dancers, and more. Jay, where is that? At the, oh, <laughs> that, was, that was vaguely southern. Jay, where is that? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. good. I, I'm good. Oh. Yep, yep, we're good. Okay, <laughs> okay thanks. <laughs>